problem with Zach is the defensive coordinator. You know, a lot of people, until they get to see you guys playing in games, how different it's going to be. You know, you've spent here in the spring. I mean, how different do you think this defense will be <clears throat> under Zach? I think it'll be great under Zach. You know, Zach is a defensive mastermind. He knows what uh, put us in position to be successful. You know, he knows our weaknesses. He knows, he knows our strengths. He knows how he can utilize us to play great on defense. You know, I feel like our defense is going to be even better than uh, last year. You know, I just feel like guys are being accustomed to each other and just growing as just not only players, just as brothers. And I think we just create uh, strength and growth and trust in each other. I think it's going to be um, a testament to how good we're going to be this year. Listen, every year of your career, you've gotten better. You've doubled your sack totals every year, and it, that would be lofty for this year if you doubled it. But how do you get better this year? I just stay present. I just stay in the moment. Um, I always have to understand that. I always have to put the work in to get the results that I want to get. And um, I try to stay uh, true to that. And uh, just focus on the little things like, you know, sleep, diet, nutrition, you know, just little things that I can just, 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 as, little pe just as little pebbles that just add up over time. I try to focus on those things. I know uh, putting in the work, you know, that will check that list off, but just doing a little thing as well throughout camp, throughout the season, just adding another thing. Is your sack goal for this year higher than it was last year, than what you finished with last year? Um, it might be, it might not be, you know, uh, but it's definitely it's de uh, definitely double digits for sure. I know I can, I'm that type of player. I know I expect highly of myself, and I have to hold myself to that standard, but it's still one at a time. Stay present and um, put the work in. Just along those lines, you can see someone like Aaron Donald, um, you know, being all pro last year and still only finished with like seven or eight sacks. I mean, does that kind of help you calibrate your expectations of what a successful season can be on an individual level? Yeah, for sure. You know, he's one of the greats, one of the greats of all time to play. And, uh, you know, um, honestly, when I came in as a rookie, and I wanted to be like, not like him, but play like him in the sense of just being great and just being a known player in this league. And, you know, I just added that focus. And I guess you could say uh, year after year after year, I've gotten better. And I guess um, he's been working. But, you know, I have a long way to go. And, uh, to even be mentioned the same time as him in terms of play, but you know, I'm determined, I'm willing, and I'm just gonna take one at a time. Justin, um, you know, we talked to you obviously when you signed the extension. We talked about how blessed you were for that. And I'm curious, does that also come with pressure? Do you feel added pressure when you sign something like that and so forth? Um, I wouldn't say pressure. I would say uh, expectations from uh, people. You know. Teams are definitely going to be, you know, maybe blocking me different, uh, expecting di uh, different ways that they're going to um, try to slow me down. So I guess you could say pressure and sort of uh, pressure myself to uh, stay polished, stay focused, and stay better than I was last year. So that's the only pressure I've got outside of that. It's just expectations and just um, the world to keep working. So. This one's been like working with new uh, best one, Chris Dennis Johnson, and, you know, just going through everything. Yeah. Dennis is great, you know, De uh, Dennis is cool. Um, he, he came from Texas and Baylor, I'm from Texas, so we have that connection. But outside of that, you know, he's just a good guy, uh, somebody that, you know, has very good insight about the game and um, trying to find ways to get better and brings a good energy too, uh, like that, and um, it's good. Do, do you prepare in any different way or try to use, try to perfect any different moves when you're expecting to get more double teams? Yeah, uh, but overall, I think the uh, most important thing for me is just staying in shape, staying uh, you know in great shape, um, having a high motor, and uh, just focusing on ways to not get tired. And uh, that's why I was talking about earlier about the nutrition and just you know, sleep and all those little things that add up. It will help me uh, stay on point in you know, those things. So, what's your biggest focus of you know from a technique standpoint on something you want to improve on your goal and so forth? Uh, man, I mean, this obviously I worked on everything, strength, uh, technique, pass rush moves. So I just say everything. Just getting better at, at everything, every aspect of the game. Just being a whole well, well-rounded uh, player. I think we're just a great part of defense. Man. Yeah. Did you feel like you did last year? Maybe playing the best you ever did. I mean, that Texas game was, game was incredible. The Chiefs game was incredible. Did you feel like? You're almost disappointed to see the season end short because you were almost reaching new heights every single week. Yeah, you know, um, I always feel like I can do better. I just feel like, uh, you know, after those performances, even though I play well, I just, in my head, I'm like, no, they haven't seen nothing yet. You know, I, I, I need to be better. I need to be strong. I can be faster. So that's just the mentality I, I come into work with. And, um, you know, I just try to put into fruition through the hard work and just like, focus. And, uh, you know, we're going to chips fall over the next. Yeah. One more thing, Justin. You know, this seems, you know, one division champion titles, you've had the number one seed in the playoffs. 
obviously you haven't gotten to the point where you want as a team. We we think it you know it will have what we have to you, this team have to do to get to that next level, get that to Everybody's just being dialed in, focused, and locked in, you know, every, every day. Um, you know, control what you can control. And that's really all you can do and just put in, you know, your hard work and have it every single day and just uh, leave it out, leave it all out there on the field. I mean, that's all you can do. If everybody does that from from coaches to, to strength staff to players to everybody, I think we're going to get to where we want to get to. Thank you, Pete. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.